Yeah. So what brings you back to Toronto? I'm down here uh, you know, doing some alumni work. Just came down, you know, I haven't been down in the, in the city in a while. And, you know, um, Toronto has always supported me and uh, been an integral part of my career. So, you know, it's always good to, good to be back and see some familiar faces. What's it like being back in the building? After all these years, we made as a visitor, you know I guess. But I know it's kind of different, man. I felt like I was about to play in the game or something, man. <laughs> you know, I got a little, uh, you know, little jitteries and stuff. Man. I don't know, yeah. man. No, but it's uh, it's great, man. It's great to be back. Um, you know, when I walk in the building, you know, smell the popcorn. It's gonna be an exciting game tonight. Um, you know, the team is uh, you know playing playing better than early earlier in the year. So yeah. I'm looking forward to this game. What else is keeping you busy these days? Man, family. Family. Yeah, like family. Yeah, just spend spending time with my family. Uh, you know, uh, back in Miami, I've yep. been, been there for the last uh, couple of years. So, just doing that, nothing, uh, nothing major. Just relaxing, man. <laughs> you ever get that itch to get back out there, give another yes. go, try yes, and I do. come back? <laughs> I mean, you know, always uh, competitively. You know, every time I watch a game, or I'm around the guys and stuff. You know, it's uh, definitely uh, something. You know, that passion is. Uh, I think that passion will always be there. Talk to me, guys. Besides that. Yeah, I do. Um, I've talked to uh, JY, you know, Vince and I keep in contact. A lot of the guys, Tracy Murray, I saw him during the All-Star break, man. It's, it's, it's kind of crazy because, um, you know, you talk about some of the relationships that people have, you, you, know, you may not talk to them, you don't know, but um, you know, I've been blessed to, you know, to be able to keep in contact with the guys. I had some great guys when I was coming in. You all know, you know, I had some guys, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't the norm, you know, to have, you know, what I had coming in as far as the veterans and stuff. So they've they always been good you know, when I see them. So what's up, it's always a... Watching Vince in Dallas now, what do you think of how he's transitioned into a new role as he's gotten older in the league? I think he's transitioned well. Um, I think he's grown a lot, um, you know, as a, um, as a player, uh, just as far as mentally, um, you know, just bringing something to the game. I see him talking to a lot of young guys during the game and, um, you know, helping them out and doing different things. I think he's, I mean, you see a guy who, you know, had everything he had here and over his career, for him to still be playing in it and, and um, Make it infectious for other guys. That's that's important. We need more of that. You know, we need more guys. Um, you know, you're looking at guys like Mike James, who um, who's back in the NBA. Um, we, I think we need more of that. More guys who can help um, these guys for their transition um, towards their careers and stuff. Is that the hardest part as an athlete, just to recognize what how your body's changing and what your limitations are as you get older? Yeah, it is because you know your mind. You're telling you, hey, I can I can still do this. Yeah. You know, but your body tell you otherwise. And uh, you know that's. I think that's why it's important to take care of your, your body over, over your career uh, so you can have a, because you never know how long it's going to be. And, uh, you just have to you know, take every day, you know, pray, and uh, just, it's really kind of good luck, you know, having long careers because, you know, if you see, I've seen these injuries and things like that happen. So. What would you tell, um, or what do you wish you would have known coming into the league? You talked about being so young. What do you wish you would have known that maybe you know now? I don't think I would change anything. Um, I think, like I said, I was lucky. I had. I have veterans, guys who came in and just didn't let, didn't let you settle. You know, if I was sitting out on practice, they were going to say something. You know, nowadays you get guys, young guys sitting out of practice and nobody say anything. So I was scared to miss practice because I thought I was going to get beat up or something. You know? <laughs> so, you know, just, just little things like that. Uh, you, have to, uh, you have to, you know, just listen to the guys in front of you. Uh, I was watching uh, Damian Miller uh, the other day and then he did an interview after the game. And, uh, he did a great job. Just as far as you know, making sure you acknowledge the guys and being humble coming in, and uh, those type of guys uh, go a long way. And they're easy to coach. I mean, come out and do what he's doing.